Here at Becton, we're essentially turning poo into houses. At Becton Sewage Works in Newham, the human waste coming in is coming out to make human houses. We're looking at alternative and more sustainable ways of managing waste. We use the solid part of the wastewater treatment process and essentially burn the sludge. So the ash that's produced after this process um, has previously been sent to landfill at a high cost. And now we're working with a partner who takes this ash, mixes it with water, sand, bit of cement and absorbs carbon dioxide in order to form these aggregate particles. These aggregate particles are formed to make construction blocks which will be used to build houses across London. Dina is a site manager here at Beckton which is Europe's largest treatment works. This is the sewage of four million people, four million Londoners that comes here to Beckton. It goes through a treatment process. We remove the solids. This is sent for further treatment before it's put, put back into the river and this is what we put back into the river. This is an example of a flat bird. Dina and her team collect 30 tonnes of this type of solid waste a day which requires a lot of electricity. But the energy generated from the burning waste is being used to actually power the site and prevents it going to landfill. We need to look for solutions that are uh, really reducing the amount of waste that comes into them and new innovations that are processing the waste that, should, that would be going to landfill or incinerated, which of course have detrimental impacts to our environment. It's fascinating to think what we flush down the toilet can be used to build homes and also power them. Thames Water expect to make 18,000 tonnes of aggregate, which could potentially make 2 million of these bricks, meaning London's waste may no longer be wasted. Jem O'Reilly, BBC London News.